you're choosing between Android, iOS, or Windows phones, well, there's a new operating system uh, that you can choose from for your mobile device. It's Firefox OS. It's been on the market for a while now, for at least a year. Uh, and we're here at CES Pepcom event, where we're getting our first look at the Firefox OS vers version 1.1. Um, and it's really cool. It's meant for the new user um, who is maybe learning to use a smartphone for the first time. And you can see that iOS or Android users will actually not find this very foreign or strange at all. It actually looks about the same, albeit a little oversized, maybe to coach new beginners into the system. Um, one really nifty feature is the search uh, function of the operating system. It not only searches within your phone or apps, it searches the web as well. Um, basically, it's like Google, but includes the web and your phone. So you can search for something, it'll bring up apps, it'll bring up the Twitter accounts of, like, I searched Imagine Dragons, it brought up the Twitter um, results for that. So it's really interesting how you know, it, it has a vast reach. Um, another good thing about the Firefox OS is it's based on HTML5. So all websites that have been created in that language, and most already are, can actually be installed on your phone as an app. So there's already a good uh, variety or library of programs that you can install on a Firefox OS device. Uh, so it can definitely compete with iOS or Android's library of apps. We, uh, these are the three phones that run Firefox OS on the market right now. This is the LG FireWeb, this is the Alcatel Moto, as well as the Firefox, uh, the ZTE version of the phone. Uh, today ZTE announced that it will be launching two new models of the Firefox OS phones, and Panasonic actually introduced a Firefox OS-based uh, TV that is going to bring a lot of new development to the smart TV environment. So we look forward to getting um, one of these phones for review because it's going to cost only se between $70 and $100. Uh, we're blown away by how inexpensive that is. So for more information or more Firefox news, stay tuned to LaptopMac.com. I'm Sherlyn Lowe.